Hello everybody, Jean here. Earlier today I posted a cropped image of a feature I discovered at a site in Clark in a region of Mars called Terra Serenum to my ex. This is the follow-up video in which I'll be showing you detailed information as well as a surprise for you all. I found this feature in the photograph called Clark Crater Floor Deposits. IRISE acquired this on the 15th of December 2007 at a high resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel. One by one binning was used. I'll be showing you the image I cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And this must be one of the largest JP2s I've analyzed. It's over 1.3 gigabytes in size and there are a ton of anomalies that I'll show you in a follow-up video part two. Also I want you to note not just the scale 25 centimeters per pixel but also the sun's elevation angle above the horizon. So the sun is about 25 degrees above the horizon. That's what the elevation angle of the sun was when this photograph was taken. So if you know the length of a shadow and you know the angle of the sun, you can work out the height of an object using trigonometry. So it's tan of the angle times the length of the shadow and that gives you the height of an object. So he has a crop from the low res black and white photograph. And as I say, all these white dots were analyzed and many of these turned out to be anomalies. I'll show you that in the follow up video part two to this one. So the site is there in Clark in a region called Terra Serenum. And the coordinates are roughly 54 degrees, 55 minutes south, 133 degrees, 45 minutes west. And he has a crop from that JP2 photograph at actual size, one to one scale. And as always, I include a scale indicator to give you an idea of how big these anomalies are. So we're going to be zooming in on the item right there. It measures approximately 7 meters across and the shadow length given the height of the sun above the horizon makes that object there in the center about 4 meters tall. So check this out, we've got a perfect crescent shape to the larger part and then this looks like a disc that's perpendicular to the surface right there in the center of that crescent shape opening. So based on this and the data provided by NASA I created a surprise for you all. Do you want to see a 3D render or illustration that I put together of this object to give an idea what it would look like if we were to go there and analyze this thing standing there right next to it on the surface? Let's unwrap the surprise. So yeah, I put together a 3D illustration, an artist's impression of what this looks like. So I've included three astronauts and in this illustration I made them roughly two meters tall. So there's the original and I replicated it here. So it's pretty accurate in size and shape. The angle of the sun was included in this render and that there works out to be about four meters tall with this piece here, yeah, the crescent shaped part, about seven and a half meters in length. 
So what the heck are we looking at here? Could this be a larger structure or craft covered in sand? And we're only seeing the top part sticking out. Could this have been like a dish, a radio dish, a radar on an outpost or structure? Who knows, folks? But it is huge. I'll include the link in the video description where you can download this wallpaper. It is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So a nice huge illustration for you guys. And then just to preview, I've selected a couple of the dozens of anomalies that I still want to show you that I discovered at the site. We've got lots of blocks. Check out this strange one. It's got like a protruding part sticking out the side there. And a lot of these items are on larger disc or round bases. This one here yeah, too seems to be hollowed out of the small dome-like part in the opening. Another igloo shape folks, this is about 10 meters across. We've seen so many of these. In a previous video, the one I showed you had a hole there, circular hole. This one's got a rectangular slot there. curves up to the top with another rectangular slot of yeah parallel with that one got like a dome surrounded by these round pieces opt pieces strange disc with this weird feature on it and then this part here also looks like a disc or a dish that's perpendicular to the surface very similar to this one here right let's take a look at that site in Google Earth Mars give you some idea where it's located so we have the circular depression right there Clark American optician astronomer 1804 to 1887 there's the photograph we analyzed Clark crater floor deposits and there's a brief look at that anomaly again and the two illustrations are put together for us Right, let's see what else we have close by. Anomalies north of Dukashev. Strange grid-like part there. About 8 meters across. There's lots of these larger objects with smaller parts in their centers check at the weird openings on that one looks like a little underground structure or habitat with a partial open hatch or lid right let's have a look at one more example this is further down to the south it's like a obelisk that's about four to five meters tall as well i hope you enjoyed this one if you did and you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing hit the bell and click on the notification all that way you'll know when I upload 
my next video so you can always be in touch with the happenings on my channel also follow me over on x i often do previews of my upcoming work on youtube over on x as well my channel has reached 8,000 subscribers today. A huge shout out to all of you. Thank you for subscribing and following my work, guys and girls. Much appreciated. Hopefully soon I can reach 10,000. That is my milestone. It's taken me just over seven years to get to 8,000. So I don't know how long it's going to take to get to 10,000. But anyway, folks, I digress. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll show you the remaining anomalies. They are just as mind-blowing as this one, folks. As always, thanks for watching.